Okay, we are on to our last reaction. In this reaction, we are going to take that copper 2 chloride and react it with aluminum metal. This will create aluminum chloride and copper metal. Before we start, make sure you record observations of both reactants. All right, we're gonna take that aluminum strip and put it into our copper 2 chloride solution. Then we're gonna slowly heat. This takes a really long time and as we're doing this, you're gonna see copper building up on the aluminum strip. We're gonna scrape that copper off or tap it off so that more aluminum is exposed to be able to react. Now would be a really good time to write down your observations of the reaction taking place. Okay, this reaction is just about done. We are actually going to head over and measure the mass of a piece of filter paper because ultimately we are going to filter this copper out. So I'm going to put a piece of filter paper on a balance and record the mass of just that filter paper. Now would be an excellent time to record observations of your products. Now we're going to put that filter paper that we found the mass of into a glass funnel and on top of an Erlenmeyer flask. And we're going to separate out the copper from the solution. Okay, all we should have left in that filter paper is our solid copper metal product. Take a look at that copper. Because that filter paper is still wet, we are going to allow it to dry overnight before we record its mass. Now that the filter paper is all dry, we will put it on our balance and record the mass of that filter paper with the copper. 
And that is how we start with copper and end with copper.